Coach B's like C3 compound here, McDonough, Georgia. Uh, it's nice and warm out there. Is it warm enough for you out there yet? I love the heat. It's great. Looking at nice this event, the, the event though, like you know, you look at it, it's pretty unique. I, I like it. You guys get like uh, complete bios on all these guys. You're getting a feel for dealing with the guys. Uh, recruiting is a big part of it. As uh, people should know, the NC State is the number one recruiting class through like literally all publications. So it's pretty unanimous. You guys know how to recruit down there. How important is recruiting and coming to an event like this? No, it's great. We've got four kids coming in from Georgia this year, and we've got five kids on the team from Georgia. So um, this is a great area, and there's obviously kids from all over the southeast and, and throughout the country at this event. So it's it's great for us to get out, see what the kids do in practice, how they learn technique, um, just the way they're interacting. You know, I think as important as anything is is watching them right now in between the, the sessions and, and the way they carry themselves and, and handle themselves and kind of their character. Um, because it's easier to hide that during practice and work hard for you know two hours, but uh, to see what they're doing right now and and the way they're treating the younger kids and that kind of thing is is important. Guys, there's guys who take you know like in football they call it taking a playoff. Uh, when you can see behind the scenes more than just what you see at a wrestling tournament them in the finals, what does that what does that do gauge wise for you to gauge who you're going to recruit and who you're not going to recruit? Is that something where there's a lot of mental notes that you're putting in the in your up in your up in your hard drive up in your brain. Definitely, definitely, and that's that's key. I mean, like I said, anybody can show up for a tournament and have a great tournament here or there, or practice, but to kind of see them kind of go through a grind of a, a long day, hot and uh, kind of through the weekend, it, it'll be interesting to see kind of how they uh, how they respond and and react to it. Looking at the talent you guys are bringing in, it's like pretty incredible. I, I step out on the limb. You know, you got the two twins, actually, two Georgia twins coming in. Those guys are studs. I don't want to put it out there, though. I think your guy, your, your Ohio guy's your best guy. I think your guy's really good. Guy never, he's a stud. Never won the state in Ohio. <laughs> How about that? The guy, so that guy's really good. Him, uh, was it the Bullard, Bullard twins? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, give me give me some more names. Or drop some more names on me. Uh, Nick Renan we picked up late. Uh, Hayden Hiley was the first commitment of the class. He really kick-started everything. Uh and uh, Mike Rogers was the second commitment. Um, I believe the third commitment was Kellen Devlin out of New York, who's a three-time state champ uh, up in New York. Um, got uh, Wade Cummings from Pennsylvania. He's another super under-the-radar guy. Not a lot of people know about him. He's a stud, too. Uh, Charlie Lennox, small school Pennsylvania state champ. Um, Tommy Cox from New York, who won high school nationals the last two years. Uh, Chris Diaz and Cody Russell from right here in, in Georgia. Um, and uh, hopefully I'm not missing anybody, but uh, I probably am. But we got, I mean, it's 12 really good guys. We got 12 guys coming in, and, and all of them have a ton of potential. Everybody says recruiting, you know, like I talked to Tom Ryan. He does an excellent job recruiting. Uh, you know, when you bring guys in like that, is the expectation in the next three to five years multiple national championships? We want to win a national title as a team. And uh, that's going to take a lot of individuals getting that done, too. So I know talking about those guys, that's their expectations. They want to win day one. Um, most of those guys' goal is to win a national title next year, whether they're in the lineup or they're red shirt and it's to be determined. But um, I know the guys we were just talking about, when they came on their visit, they said, I want to win a national title this year. I can do it. And so those guys are showing it. You know, um, Hayden beat uh, – a returning All-American at the Northeast Regionals. I know it's freestyle, but he beat an All-American this year, wrestling up in the senior men's, and, and three guys, three other guys who won matches at the national tournament. So um, he's ready to do it. You know, Nick Green and Mike Rogers are on a world team in Greco right now. Uh, they're getting ready for that, and, and those guys are ready to go. I mean, the Bullards are, are animals on top. I mean, there might not be anybody more fun to watch on top than those guys. They like to scramble, too. Yeah, they can scramble. And, uh, and like you said, Tariq Wilson... Not a lot of people knew about him. Not a lot of people were recruiting him. I was just like, why is everybody in the country not on this kid? I don't know why, but he's he's a stud. He he is like <laughs> really, really, really good. And I yeah. think he's his his ceiling and his upswing, the upside of him is just incredible. Uh, okay, so you guys are ACC champs this year. Unprecedented NCAA dual season for, for an ACC school. Um, and just what you guys did in general. You won the ACC championships, um, the, the tournament. You didn't win the duel. Tech won the duel. Yep. But you look at that, uh, you lost a little bit. Tell me about the bet you lost with your guys. So uh, it uh, going into, well, let me think here. After we lost to Virginia Tech, 
the guys bet Coach Papalizio that he'd have to change his name to the Skip on Twitter if uh, if we beat Missouri. So of course they they stepped up and responded two days after the loss and and beat Missouri, who was a great team. Um, and so then going into ACCs, I said if we win the ACCs, then you got to change your name to Bees in a Trap uh, on Twitter. So that's the bet I lost, and that's my Twitter name now. <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's great. You, you guys are you're men of your word. I like that. Uh, what, what's uh, in for the rest of the summer for you as far as recruiting, as far as camps? What do you do? Um, we're focused on our guys. Our guys are there uh, year-round. Every single guy on the team is there year-round. The freshmen are coming in two weeks, um, start summer school and, and to train. And uh, it's a total buy-in from the team. So our whole staff, our six regional training center guys, are, are, uh, and everybody on our team, every single guy is there over the summer training. Who is going to, who's going overseas to the University Worlds with Adam? Um, Adam and Nick are both on the University World team. Um, not sure if one of the other coaches then go over with them or not, uh, but two of them for that, and then Nick Renan and Michael Rogers will have the uh, Junior Greco World team in uh, October. So now we got that coming up. Nick's going to Poland next week to compete as well. So you guys are just busy. <laughs> yeah. Like, where, where do you go from here? Where do you go? Back home? Yeah, I go back home, uh, and then uh, got practice on Monday. I, Yesterday I worked out with Nick at 7 a.m. and and then got out here and then here and back tomorrow and back at it. Nick's got a couple of days of training before he goes to Poland and and, uh, and then the team's done with uh, freestyle. The, the majority of the guys they aren't on the world team, so now we're switching back to folk style. Now University Nationals are over. All right, coach, you got anything else for me? That's all I got right now. Thanks a lot for the interview. Hey, thanks for the time.